Hello everybody, welcome back to Monday Motivation. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, I am going to be reading from 2 Kings chapter 7 verses 3 through 11. Uh, and I will be using the ESV. <clears throat> so, here we go. Now there were four men who were lepers at the entrance of the gate. They said to one, of the, no, one another, why are we sitting here until we die? If we say, let us enter the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. So now come, let us go over to the camp of the Syrians. If they spare our lives, we shall live, and if they kill us, we shall but die. So they arose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. But when they came to the edge of the camp of the Syrians, behold, there was no one there. For the Lord had made the army of the Syrians. Hear the sound of chariots and of horses, the sound of a great army. So they said to one another, Behold, the king of Israel has hired a... a well, Behold, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of Egypt to come against us. So they fled away in the twilight and abandoned their tents and their horses and their donkeys, leaving the camp as it was, and fled for their lives. And when these lepers came to the ledge, to the edge of the camp, they went into the tent and ate and drank, and they carried off silver and gold and clothing and went and hid them. And then they came back and entered another tent and carried all things from it, and went and hid in them. When they said to one another, We are not doing right, this day is a day of good news. If we are silent and wait until the morning light, punishment will overtake us. Now therefore come, let us go and tell the king's household. <clears throat> so they came and called uh, they came and called to the gatekeepers of the city and told them, We came to the camp of the Syrians, and behold there was no one to be seen or heard. There, nothing but the horses tied, and the donkeys tied, and the tents as they were. Then the gatekeepers called out, and it was told within the king's household. So, uh, I'm taking this scripture from, uh, actually, uh, from youth camp. Uh, Pastor Peter Reeves, uh, Peter Reeves spoke a message called Moving Forward, or Keep Moving Forward. And he used this scripture, uh, and I decided to look over it again, and uh, I just thought it was really cool, because... Uh, just reading this scripture, it's um, it's pretty intense stuff, uh, you know, with with the enemies right outside the gate, ready to uh, come in and take over, and you have these outcasts, these lepers, who literally no one wants to be around them, no one wants to speak to them, no one wants to touch them, you know, they're they're outcasts, and so they also have this disease that literally that they're going to die, like this is this is some bad stuff, and so. They're in this situation where they're like, okay, listen, the enemy camp's out there about to come and take over our land. We got the people inside that are not going to feed us, not going to help us. We're, we're going to die if we stay here. Like, so we're going to die if we just stay still and not do anything. So let's, let's just might as well go to the enemy camp and, uh, you know, it, let's just risk it. You know, if they capture us, they capture us and kill us. Uh, but at the very least, maybe they'll help us and maybe they'll give us some food or maybe they'll help us out. Who knows? Uh, we are outcast after all. So instead of standing still, they realize that if they sit still, they're going to die. And if they move forward, there's a chance they're going to die anyways. Uh, but if they sitting still is going to get them nowhere, but if they go to this camp, at least there's a chance that they could get some food or get some help or get, or be able to survive. So they leave and go to an enemy camp which is extremely crazy, extremely risky, but they don't have much choice. And they find that the Lord went before them and literally drove out the enemy's camp away. And then they had the whole camp to themselves, all the food, all the drink, all the gold and silver and everything, all to themselves. And I think there's a lot of life lessons to learn here. So I encourage you to pray on the scripture and ask the Lord what you think is the best way to, best thing to take from this. But me personally, as I'm reading this, um, it's so easy to stay complacent. It's so easy, you know, to stay still. And I think this is a good opportunity to know that the Lord is going forward. And so we should also just go forward and keep moving on and, and go after what the Lord's got for us. So uh, let's pray. Father, thank you for the scripture. I pray, Lord, as we are finding a time, Lord, if we get complacent or stuck somewhere, Lord, I pray, God, that you will encourage us to get moving and to keep moving forward because we know, Lord, that you are always 
going forth, Lord, and doing amazing things, Lord. And we're thankful, Jesus, for all the plans that you have for us. So I pray, God, you will bless this uh, this week for us. Um, bless this time, Lord, and we love you. We thank you. Pray all to your name, Jesus. Amen. Love you guys.